Hey there guys, Vino here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising. Now, when last we met, we were on the old shitty capture card, now weren't we? And now we're back, brand new mix, it's gonna be great. Um, unfortunately my headphones are up a little loud right now, I need to calm it for like two seconds. And we gotta go do a mother's lament. We got to hear the lamentations of the women. Anyways, if you're wondering, we you know, you haven't uploaded anything in like 10 years. Uh, there's a very good reason for that. I'm actually sick again, I know. Son of a bitch. Well, we're freeing Sophia first, or whatever the fuck her name is. Sophie. Oh man, it's so weird coming out on this end. Because now they're like right up in my face. I don't want it. I don't want it, man. Okay, uh, so... I haven't recorded in a while because uh, February 6th passed, and as you know, February 6th is uh, D-Day for me. It's actually my birthday, and so I, uh, I was busy celebrating that, and then I got sick when I went to go celebrate my birthday, and well, <clears throat> so on and so forth, long story short. I've been way too sick to record, and now I am way more busy than I thought I was going to be, but hey, you know, I'm managing to find time here and there to record, and I'm trying to stay consistent with the schedule. And I'm going to vlog again soon, I know, I know, I'm slacking as all heck on that as usual, but hey, you gotta give me some leeway. Uh, okay, so we did a good job avoiding the convicts, that's pretty good. I mean, as long as uh, we get Sophie back and we still have plenty of time to go do Mother's Lament, which it seems like we will, well then we're going to have a lot of free time. Oh boy, 7 o'clock. Here we go. That's not so fun. But it eh, doesn't affect us too much. Actually, in my opinion, it's harder to notice the difference when the zombies are quote unquote more aggressive. I think they just like to, you know, chew on your survivor's ankles a little longer than what they normally do. Oh boy, I feel a cough coming on. And that ain't good. That's horrible. I don't want it. Oh, come on, lady. Come on. I'll punch both you out. Ugh. Uh, this should be a lesson to your kids. Don't play with knives or anything of that sort. You end up cutting your girlfriend. Alright, that's it. See how much I speed up after I let go of her hand? Oh, damn it! Hey! I get my erotic photo now. <laughs> as long as this lady comes on. Isn't there a photography thing? Yeah, there's a pea sticker here somewhere. There we go. Fantastic. Personally, I don't see it. I think it's on the back side of the door. Of the security room? I'm not sure. Either way, it's really well hidden. It's just one of those things that you kind of got to know to take a picture of it, to know there's a P sticker there. Okay, escort complete. Got yeah, kind of okay experience. Eh, we could do better. Oh shoot, I should have taken a photo of her. I'll do it when I get back. Got plenty of time to do the photo op thing. So I'll just wait. I think I have too many weapons. Oops. God damn it, give me the torso. There we go. 
Oh, bullshit. Uh, I guess I could go and find a... Actually, never mind. This is, actually, this will work out quite well because I actually uh, can stop by the food court on the way to pick up the lady for our mother's lament. I can pick her up from the food court and... Uh, or I have to pass the food court to pick her up and when I'm there I'll cook my pizza and whatnot. But before that, I've got big plans. And big plans require big food. I essentially want to kill the convicts with what weapons I have. So I'll try oh, I can cook my pizza here, man! How about it? I'll just angrily eat some baguettes while my pizza's cooking. Alright, give me the pizza. Alright. Time to kill some convicts. This time we got guns, so it should be relatively easy. Where are they? I do not see them. Oh, they're there. I figured they would be either at the entrance I was at, or they'd be at the opposite side. Now I wonder how well I can snipe with this thing. Tried to take their gun. Oh shit! Thank you. I'll give up a shotgun for this, why not? And that is another fantastic way of beating the convicts. God. Drop my gun because some guy fell on me. What a what a way to go. Okay, that's a small experience boost, so I wanna get y'all. Grab a frying pan to put on the stove. I guess you could just put it on the stove and leave it there. Either way, hot pan. Yep. Oh my goodness, gravy! Sorry, that was my throat uh, kind of overreacting to that. If you're wondering why there's moments of silence in this episode, it's because that probably means I was coughing. Anyways, let me see if. Did these reset? Have I done them in this playthrough? Okay. I know the punching bags is a good way of testing that. And yeah. If you don't get experience from the punching bags, then you didn't. Then, uh, yeah, you already done them. It doesn't count. Alright. Check out my gun, lady. Talk to me. All right, all right. 
Alright, get off me, you crazy, you crazy lady. Give him my gun. Come on, ma'am. Hurry it up. Speaking of which, ma'am. Can I get my erotic photo? No. Not good enough. Those tits ain't pretty. Trade you for my gun. I'm some kind of idiot. Man, look at the <laughs> rewind for a little bit and just watch the way Frank like gyrates when he shoots that gun. It's pretty funny. Huh. Alright, come on. I really should uh, also get the maintenance tunnel key because I haven't done that in, that in this playthrough uh, yet either. That's gonna be a pain in the butt gonna be the pain in the butt gentlemen well, I think we should do it oh come on crazy 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 lady so her leg let's talk about that does that uh, I'm pretty sure she goes over the dialogue but I've never a hundred percent paid attention to that dialogue is she bit or no actually think about this in the dead rising uh canon is it do you <laughs> oh my god oh my god do you turn if you get bit is this a thing <clears throat> i feel like i know this but at the same time i feel like i don't wait a minute uh no i have no idea you really want me to get my honest answer I have no idea because I'm thinking about future things that happen in this game I, I don't know I guess we'll see we'll we'll judge it at the end of the game we'll say hey let's think about these zombies for two seconds I'll do a PSA on zombies I don't think your speed boosts that you get from leveling up affect you when you have survivor like on your back. I know they don't when you're holding hands, but when you have a survivor on your back, I'm not sure. It'd be really cool if it did. Of course, speed is one of those things in this game that you can either look at as a good or a bad thing because uh, the faster you are obviously means, hey, uh, you're gonna get fucked because you're gonna outrun half your survivors. Look, I can't talk to you right now, man. Well, she's just getting her shit wrecked and I have to talk to Otis. Come on, Come on lady, they're swinging arms at you. She's got jumps for someone with a hurt leg. I'll tell you that. And now we gotta go to Wonderland Plaza to go fight Adam. Oh boy. I'm excited because I get my chainsaws. And that's all I need. Dun, dun, dun. Excuse me, going to floor five or something. I don't know. I feel like malls would be one of those things Thank that have uh, many, many floors. I mean, I know they do. There are some that do. 
my mall that I have near my house is two stories. Uh, but most malls I know have like a parking garage Thank underneath them much. or something. So I guess if you count basement levels as floors. I don't know if that's a thing people do. Anyways, where's the lady? I need to take a picture of your panties. Excuse me. I'll get you back. Let Thank you very much. I'll get you back for saving me. I'll kill you. Mm, bada boom. Fantastic. Woo! That's what I call a money shot. <laughs> oh, Otis, you so silly. Okay, now to go save the other guy who is presently trapped within Adam Adam's fun land. Adam Ow. Ow. Adam's house of mouse, as it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, sorry. Excuse me, zombie. So far, so good. Right? I was trying to... I saw that picture and I was like, what the hell is that? And I realized, oh... Have I been using this shortcut? Can I use this shortcut? I don't know. I'm just saying because I know I haven't freed the guy yet. That's what we're going to go do right now. I don't think so. Let's see when I get there. I hope to prepare for the Prince of Bel Air. No, you can't use a shortcut if you don't have the guy. Well, ain't that a load of crap. Oh well. I think it'd be uh, interesting to do like a Dead Rising LP where somebody does challenges, I guess you could say. Like fan challenges something. I don't know why, like, it just popped into my head that it would be interesting if someone did, like, a, uh, a realistic run where, like, Hank doesn't really, or Hank? Why'd I call him Hank? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Who the fuck is Hank? Anyway, Frank, rather, uh, I think it'd be interesting if you did, like, a realistic, like, pockets run or something, like, where you can only carry one thing at a time. That'd be really... It'd be difficult to solve hell. Imagine, you when you get to pick, like, your one... You, you either get weapons or food. You gotta choose at that point. Of course, I would pick the Mega Buster. <laughs> Mega Buster, you guys will never see me use that. Not in this LP, you won't. Go to someone else's LP that shows it off. But essentially, you have to beat the game, unlock uh, unlimited survival mode, and then uh, you gotta. And then once you you survive for what is it, a week? I think it is, one whole week. And you get the Mega Buster. One shots literally almost everything in the game. I think the only thing that doesn't get one shot by it is some of the bosses at the end of the game. But that's it. Like everything else is just ba bam. Alright, bring it. Come on, I got half a minute to beat you. I didn't really portion out my time very well. Well, that didn't do a lot of damage. Hey! So guns are a no-no with him. Unless he's doing the balloon attack. Shh. 
shit. I fucked that one up. Eat your pizza, goddammit! Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on, bring it. Come on, blow up a balloon or something. Don't throw knives, you ding dong. Oh, that was close. On my part. If I had hit him, I would have lost my mannequin. <laughs> we like collided, that was really weird. God damn it. Whoa! Close call again. Almost lost my mannequin twice. Almost got him. There we go. Whoo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Obtain the ID card. We grab our small chainsaw. Turn this off. Grab our friendly neighborhood Spider Man off there. Grab our other chainsaw. Hopefully, we can escort this guy yeah. back with no trouble. Oh, come on, man. You better just keep going. Jesus. So far, so good. Kinda. Why does he have a photo op? It's really weird. Ow! Oh come on, am I not in range for you to walk or something? Jesus. Jesus. Alright, thanks man. I'll just pelt you a couple times. Being such an idiot. <coughs> As far as I can take you, you're on your own. 
North Plaza, leaving the supermarket. Real panic. Something must be after the poor guy. Alright. Well, we will have to do that next time on Let's Play Dead Rising. This has been your host, as usual, we knew on this channel. I'll see you guys next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the return to the old capture card and its wonderful, glorious HD uh, frame rate format. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.